there are other ways of navigating the music collection, obviously. So if we went in, but if we navigated by album, and we increase the size, that's quite a nice way if, if you want to kind of introduce other people to your music collection, because mm. uh, some people uh, don't like to be put on the spot. They don't like to be asked what artist, what album, what track. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the sort of average person would like to sit there slowly working through, you know, the cover of art of your entire music collection. And that's, that's quite a nice way of, of, of interacting with your music collection as well. Personally, I've, I've quite enjoyed doing that in shots. <clears throat> Bottom right hand side, just in case you, you want to play around with this, um, that's just to cycle through the free views. Um, works very well on this album view because if you click on it once, it just fills a whole screen with albums. Keeping in mind that We've already done the instant access, so if we saw an album that we really, really liked, we could just click on the album, drag it over to the play icon, and it would actually play it instantly. So people, people really could be sitting there, you could just be working your way, and if you want to, it can be set up that you could look alphabetically. So if you wanted it set that you chose all of the albums, all the artists under A, B, C, D, E, etc., you could drill down and you could you could be that sort of you know commanding about how you wanted it to be navigated mm. personally i like to leave the whole music collection open so you can kind of have a bit of a a bit of a broader mm. view but as soon as something else pops up that that sort of uh, catches your attention once again you just click it down on the icon it'll override what's playing but it, it doesn't delete the rest of the playlist it, it just puts this at the top oh, right. and when this album is finished it will continue on with your original playlist and that's a joy when, when you're going in and you can also do it with single tracks again so if you go in there drag it in then that would override the playlist that's quite interesting when you actually go back and, and get to a point where you look at the playlist you've created mm. and you know you end up creating these monster <laughs> playlists that are actually quite interesting. Press that again and it will take you to the playlist view. So if you want to sort of interrogate your madness... So that's all your that's, updates are already there. That's, that's what we keep on adding as we're going amazing. along. And if you click on it one more time, it takes us back to the original view, which is music or album and the playlist. And if we go back up, up one level, take it from tracks back to albums, then you can do a bit of both. Work it through. And if you think Secret Love from Claire Martin, once again, you know, it's completely consistent in as much as if you then just want to add one track to the playlist, you could just drag it. You can do it however you want. Like, you could decide to dump that track in there. Yeah. But then, for some reason, you could decide to play later on that track and it will add it to the bottom. <laughs>